drive tips for you. If you're using the road and you come out of the vehicle or you're walking on foot, never cross the road behind the parked vehicle. It is an unsafe place. If you follow that, we shall save your life. Don't follow it, we shall lose you. Number two, never drive when you're tired. There is no energy drink. There is no energy drink that can put sleep out. If you're tired, pack the vehicle, sleep for two hours. Rest, then get back and drive on the road. Even if you open the windows, even if you wash your face, even if you take a drink, when the body is tired, you will doze. So if you're tired, don't drive. Just park in a safe place and rest. All pedestrians should cross roads at only safe designated points. Either the zebra crossing or where the traffic lights are because they permit someone to cross the road. And people should utilize the flyovers. It's a pity that you find people being hit on the bypass. The flyovers are there. You find that Kaleri, it is the cows up there. The human beings are jumping metals to compete with vehicles that are terrible speed. Please take note of this. You are not faster than that car. And your body can't compete with that metal. Once you're hit, we shall lose you. So don't cross from anywhere except when it's a safe point. All drivers on the road, remember to respect all road signs. We have a problem on the road. People are driving. The road signs are talking. Those signs talk to you. They tell you what is ahead of you. They tell you what is in the place where you are. People don't respect them. So when you're driving on the road and you find a traffic road sign, read it and respect it. If you read it and respect it, we shall save a life on the road. When using a motorcycle, always wear the helmet. Either you're a passenger or you're the rider. This happens. Passengers don't want to wear helmets. If you don't want that helmet on the motorcycle, get yours. Have one for yourself. Because each one of us here at one time use a motorcycle. So if you're going to jump on it, wear a crash helmet, but make sure you don't put it on the head like a saucepan or a tin. When you wear the helmet, you must tie down here and tighten it. Without that, when the crash happens, it will get off the head, land before you land. So we are protecting your head. Not until we know the use of the helmet that we shall wear it. It protects your head when a crash happens. When you break your arm, they'll put a metal. When you break your leg, they'll put something there. But when you crush your skull and the brain comes out, you are left with no option. So just know you're wearing the helmet, not for the traffic officer who is on the road enforcing the law, but because of your own safety. So wear the crutch helmet for your own safety. Either you're a passenger or you're a rider. When using a vehicle, always wear the seat belt. Either you're a passenger or you're the driver. You see people in PSVs, they don't want to wear the seat belts, yet they are there. When a crash happens and you did not wear a seat belt, if you are the driver, the seat belt in the system of the car works with the airbag. So if you're not wearing the seat belt, you are not safe at all. You come out of that vehicle, roll, and die. Or if the crash happens, the impact you get is the same impact at the same rate the vehicle speed, the speed the vehicle was moving at. The vehicle was moving at 100 kilometers per hour. Imagine that impact on you in that car. That is the speed at which you'll be moving inside that car. So we don't want to lose you. Wear the seat belt, stay in one position. In case of a crash, your life will be saved. In case of a crash, the airbag will come out to save you. So let's respect these road tips <coughs> given above so that we save lives on the road. Then the last one, when we are using the dual carriage, we don't drive in the inner lane. In Uganda, we keep the left. So, why are you driving in the inner lane? It's used for overtaking. Come out and go. Don't drive in the inner lane. It's not allowed. Let's respect the roads so that we save lives at least in this country. Because road safety is everyone's responsibility. Our toll free line is still on. The 08 00 19 90 
1999. Thank you.